OK, here is how we transfer film here at Got Memories. Uh, these are our Got Memories film transfer units, and they are spectacular. And no bias whatsoever, but honestly, um, I've been in the business a long time, and we've worked hard to come up with the best, most superior way of transferring film. Not only picture quality wise, but the safest for your film as well. And also done very economically for the end user. So we can pass that savings on to you. So not only getting high quality transfers, but at a very economical price as well. So this is the basic overview here. It is very simple, as simple as you see it. Um, output straight from the unit. And uh, basically, as you can see on the monitor here, this is a still frame. This uh, actual footage here is about 60 years old. Um, so very uh, it's color film, and it is shooting it right off the gate. And I'm going to quickly open up here. And you can see there is an LED light source. And I'm going to call to the touch. And the film gate is right here. And there is a camera the other side, which I'm going to show you in a minute when I take this housing off. And it shoots it directly off the gate. Now this, if I turn it off, and you see on, notice one thing, that the film does not burn. So this is cold to the touch. Your film is very safe. And when we turn it on, there we go. Flicker free, exact speed. Uh, we have automatic and manual exposure settings. The film is very safe. It's open on the bottom here, unlike the other film transfer machine we just saw previously where it's all in the housing there. There's no way for it to get wrapped up and caught up. There is a footage counter as well. And let me turn this off so you can actually hear me. Footage counter, so if there's any indiscrepancies or you're not sure of the footage, we have the information right there. And that's pretty much it. It's very, very safe, very straightforward, and um, economical, and the quality is fantastic. Um, and you can click on our samples above me and see some film transfers from amazing film down to real world film for the average user. Um, if you've got 16 millimeter, I mean, it, the, qu the quality there just blows me away um, every day that I see it from these units. So um, rest assured that um, you know, you're going to be getting the best quality film transfer on these machines here. And just to give you an idea, um, a one chip unit is around about $4,000. A three chip unit is about 8000 And that's just for one gauge. This is a regular eight machine. And if you've got Super 8, you'd need another machine as well. So if you wanted a, a three chip like these, I mean, you've got $16,000 outlay right there. Plus, it doesn't include recording equipment and most importantly, time. So um, I'm going to quickly unbolt the side here so you can see the camera and how the inner workings work. Inside of this machine is just a conglomeration of circuit boards and um, wiring. And it is a frame by frame scan. That method gets thrown around left and right. But basically, it is taking a picture of every single frame of film. So when you look on your DVD and you hit the pause button, go through frame by frame, it is a crisp image all the way through. Um, so I'm going to take the side off here, and you can see the inner workings of the camera. OK, so here we are. We're taking the last screw off. Unplugged it. So what most people think is behind our units here, there's going to be a big camera. And there actually isn't. So when I take this off um, very gently, the camera is actually right here, this tiny little thing here, just a circuit board. And there's a magnifying lens uh, right here. And then it just goes straight off the gate. So you've got literally um, about four inches, three and a half, four inches from the actual lens of the camera to the gate. Um, compared to when I was showing you previously on that other unit where you've got three feet of distance between the two. And again, this is completely enclosed, so it's dark. There's no interference from light whatsoever. And it is just, th there's no focus. It's all automatic focus. The camera is bolted down, so it cannot move. It is static on the actual gate. It's getting, uh, there's an enlarged gate in there, so you're getting the full, fr actually more frame than you get on a projection. And um, it is just, it is fantastic. Um, and this is the future of film transfers here. And ironically, a lot of people that uh, had the films transferred in the 80s and 90s are now coming in with their videotapes and were saying, hey, get it retransferred, and seeing such stark results between what was used to be done and what's done today. And hopefully, the rest of the industry will catch on. 
um, with the ensuing technology. So unfortunately, most places are not being totally truthful about how they transfer film. And this is exactly why we here at Got Memories give you full disclosure and setting the precedence um, and, and get another transfer companies to step up and be honest and tell people exactly how they transfer film. So um, if you are shopping around, make sure that you are seeing a video just like this. Because if they say any other information regarding to proprietary technology, or we won't tell you because of our secret technology, um, unfortunately, they're not telling the truth. So this is why we have complete disclosure here at Got Memories. We're passionate about quality film transfers, passionate about creating val uh, value um, for the customer because you do have a lot of films, people with a lot of film out there, and it can get very expensive. So we are very fair um, and, um, you know, so the quality is just fantastic if the original quality is there on the film.